Hi everyone and welcome to And So On. My name is Lisa and today I am popping in with a really quick fabric and pattern haul that I did here on the Sunshine Coast in British Columbia. Now, before I start, if you have not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you'll know when I'm doing a new video. I do a video every week, sometimes twice a week, in this case three times this week, um, but I would love to share my sewing with you. And from my analytics, I can see that less than half the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So please do subscribe. Um, I would love to see you every week as I continue on my sewing journey. So my first thing I'm gonna show you are the fabrics that I got. So there is a shop here on the Sunshine Coast called Corollas and it's a quilt shop and they have lovely fabrics and they are moving and so they're having a moving sale. So I got 40% off some of these free spirit fabrics and they're quite lovely. So shall I start with my favorite? So this is a free spirit by Anna Maria Horner and the more I look at it, the more I love it. <laughs> So I actually got two meters of this. It was $17 a meter minus 40%. And it just, it's really, really soft. The quality of it is lovely. I got two meters because I thought maybe I'd do either a shorter dress or a longer blouse. But now I feel like I want one more meter so that I have more flexibility in what I do. So you can see it's fairly sheer. So I would have to line it as a dress. But yeah, I just think it's so pretty. And I don't know if you can see up close, but each one of these things here, the edges are not on the sides there. You can see they're, they're cut. So this way, no, this is flat. But this way, all of these edges are cut. So you get this little fringe effect all over on every single one of these woven. And I can't remember the name of this line. I want to say it's called loom or something to that effect. I think it's on one of the other ones. Okay, so that's one. Something I could pair with it is just this really nice, clean, um, textured cotton. Um, but again, it's woven. This is all the woven line. I, someone that in the in my viewer here, you guys are going to know the name of this. It's called Loom Made or Loom Knits or something like that. Um, I'm going to look at it. So these are all woven, not printed. Um, and I have a feeling when this gets washed up, it's going to be even more gorgeous. At the last minute, I picked up the same one in blue. <laughs> Did you notice that there was no blue up until that point? Were you impressed? Um, I picked the same one up in blue because I just, well, you know, I love blue. And then last but not least, this is actually the first one I picked up and it is gray with pink and yellow woven dots, polka dots. And again, this is all woven in. So I thought this would be really lovely for Lily and I'm going to do either a uh, a sleeveless dress or a top uh, blouse for her out of this and she absolutely loves it. So then today we went to the Salvation Army here in town and I poked through to find their patterns and I got some amazing patterns and they were all 50 cents a piece so I was pretty impressed. Now you guys will probably remember my Issei Miyake top that I did a couple weeks ago and I will link to that above if you haven't seen it yet and you'll remember that I told you guys about this pattern and then some people came back to me and were like this pattern sells for $120 on Etsy. It's out of print, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, I borrowed it from my neighbor. I didn't realize at the time. So now you better believe that I Google Issey Miyagi patterns when I see them um, to see how much they are. So this one here, so this is Issey Miyagi 1114. And it is a, for a woven. So it's for like a light Georgette. It says um, very interesting. And it also has leggings and the leggings are for two way stretch. So that was interesting and when I googled this it, it retails um, on Etsy I think in the $20 range and then this one here I just thought was really interesting I thought for um, just for interest sake like so this is an advanced one it's 2761 Vogue 2761 this one I've seen anywhere from 60 I think 60 to 90 dollars on Etsy and but look at the detail in that skirt crazy, right? I was looking for some examples of it made up and I really couldn't find any. So if you find any, link me up below. But like, look at that. Could you see making that? What do you think? It's pretty interesting, huh? This one here, I definitely will use and I will definitely make. It's an Isaac Mizrahi and I'm loving this top and the dress version because you know I like things that kind of cover my chest in the summer. Um, and this pattern is such a great deal. You get 
the shirt, the top, the dress, the skirt, and the pants um, all in one. And this one is my size, which is great. How cute is this? Isn't that adorable? Especially like for summer when it's super hot and you just want something light to get at the door. Of course, this one's my husband's favorite. Shocking. Um, and it's just two pieces, two, two pieces plus the facings. That's it. And yeah, so I just thought when I, that was the first one I saw and I'm like, yep, that's mine. That's going in my pattern pile. And then the rest of these, one, two, three, four, five of these are all and person stretch and sews, which I had first come across last week when I was in Seattle that I showed you my last one. I'd never seen them before. And now all of a sudden I'm coming across them. Maybe it's a West Coast thing. I don't know. Maybe it's a West Coast thing. If you guys know more about these patterns, please tell me more about them below because I've never come across them before, but they seem really uh, popular. Now I'm generally not a 70s person in terms of style. I was born in the 70s. <laughs> And for me, I always looked at the pictures from when I was little and thought, oh God, that's terrible, awful. Like I just never really liked it. But all of these I find really interesting. Maybe it's because it's line drawings and not polyester. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so this one I just thought was cool. Shirt dress. Yeah, I thought that was neat. This one I loved. I'm actually in been looking at kimono patterns a lot recently. So I'm loving that kimono pattern. I'm loving this. And it comes with the dress, the kimono, the other dress, and the top all in one. And these are so nice, right? Like the quality of the paper that these come on is just so nice and solid. And I love that. This is a raglan top. I'm loving that. And I'm loving that, right? Just so glam, so glam, so chic. Um, I'll save my favorite to last. Okay, this one is just a little pair of pants. I almost left it behind. And actually there were four or five others that I left behind, so I didn't take them all. <laughs> um, but I just love these high-waisted shorts. And interesting, they're elastic waist. So I don't know if they'll look that chic on, but love that. And then this was the last one. So it just, it's just called The T. I uh, I lo love that. C can't you see me making this from from anything like that's totally me right and then these are the backs look at that with the little slit and the tunic version and the short version I just thought that was awesome so that's it that's my haul I'm sure that's all the shopping I'm gonna be doing between now and getting back to Toronto and I can't wait to get back to my sewing machine oh so many ideas so many plans I have a couple more interviews coming up you guys seem to have really enjoyed that and here's something else I was thinking of so I know that you guys like to see what's in my stash and my hauls and I thought I would wonder if you guys would like to see what's in other people's stashes and what's in other what are other people's best deals and where they got stuff and um, what their plans are so I thought maybe I would approach some other sewists that I know in Toronto who I know have amazing, amazing fabric stashes and pattern stashes and get a little tour. What do you think? Would you guys like that? Maybe I'll do that soon. Again, if you enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I am working on getting to 10,000 subscribers and I know I've been like waiting to tell you guys what it's about, but I really want to show you um, why I want to get to 10,000. There's something that happens in YouTube and something I'm able to do once I get to 10,000 that I'm really going for. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And if you can help me along um, by hitting that subscribe button, hitting that notification bell and giving me a thumbs up, I would so appreciate it. Okay guys, I am off. I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.